When you're using the two color roller, you want to choose your paint colors three to five shades apart. The best way to do this is to choose an overall color that you think you want your end result to be. For example, if we want our end result to be right here, what we would do is go up two shades, and this would be the first color that we use. Then we'll go back to our original color and drop down two shades. That'll be the second color that we use. And the same goes for all of the color families that you want to use, three to five shades apart. We're getting ready to use the two color roller to do the roller meshing technique. It's important to know that you do not need to apply a new base coat before you begin painting. If you have builders flat on your wall, that's great, you can roll right over it. Also, if it's a color that you don't like, don't worry about it, it'll cover it completely. Even if you have a primer coat on your wall, you can do this on top of the existing surface. Now, in order to do this technique, you need the right tools. So with that, we'll use the split tray designed to hold two different colors of paint. Also, the woolly two-color roller. This is made from natural sheep skin. A synthetic roller cover does not work the same. Also, the roller frame, which will slide right on there. And you'll need the little woolly. That's designed to get the edges and corners and ceiling lines, and the small brush. Now, before we begin, there's some preparation necessary. And in order to prepare the two-color roller, being that it is natural sheepskin, when you first purchase the product, it has lint on it. So you want to get rid of the lint. You only need to do this one time. That's done with regular masking tape. I'm going to take the masking tape and roll it into a ball so that I can use it to get rid of the lint. I put the sticky side on the outside and just take it and drag it across the two color roller, keeping in mind that you want to get rid of any stray fuzzies on there. Now again, you'll only need to do this once. If you use the two color roller again and again, you will never need to get rid of the lint ever again. Also, we need to take our paint and put it into our split tray, putting one paint on one side and one, the other paint color on the other side. So I'll just go ahead and pour this right in here. Again, this is regular satin finished paint that we're pouring in here. And there's our first color. And we'll go ahead and take the second contrasting color and pour that in here. Take the two color roller and I'm going to go ahead and get the tips wet with the paint. Rolling back and forth. You don't want to go ahead and push it in there so it's totally saturated. You want to make sure that just the tips get wet rotating it around so that the paint is evenly saturated on the surface. Once you have paint all the way on all of the tips, all the way around evenly, you're ready to go ahead and paint on the wall. Well, so now we get to get to the fun part, and that's painting with the two-color roller. You won't believe your eyes at how quick and easy this thing is. Now, we've already loaded it up in paint when we were preparing to paint, and we're going to just go ahead and double check that there's paint on here and it's all loaded up evenly. So we're going to work in about a three foot by three foot area at a time. And I'm going to take the two color roller and I'm going to begin by creating a V pattern, like so. Now from there I'm going to roll back and forth. I'm not going to pay any attention to what my end result looks like. All I'm going to focus on is making sure that my base coat color is completely covered. So I'm going to roll back and forth. Now I don't need to press hard because pressing hard will mat down the two color roller. You want to keep a nice, easy, light touch. Now when I don't see any more of the base coat color showing through, then I'm going to take the two color roller and fine tune it to the way I want it to look. The more you roll it, the actually the softer the look will become. So if you do prefer a more muted look, then you'll roll out more. I think that looks pretty good. I'm really quite happy with it, and it gives really professional looking results. Now, when you're painting along a wall, occasionally you'll run along the edges, corners, or ceiling lines, or in this particular situation, a window. Now the two color roller will get relatively close to your edge, like you see here. 
But in order to get, again, professional looking results, we'll go ahead and do our edging work right when we're at that point. It makes sense to do it then because our colors will blend evenly as opposed to doing the wall and then doing the edging. Now remember, we're using the little woolly to do this and the little brush. So I'm going to take the little brush, I'm going to dip it into my first pink color and apply a couple of splotches on the surface. Take the same brush, dip it in my other color, do some more splotches, take my brush, run it along the edge, and now I'm going to take the little woolly. And what I'm going to do is just tap it out so that I get the same color variation all the way to the edge as I do in the middle of the wall. Again, professional looking results. Now after you've blended it out, if you want to see a little bit more of one color or another color in there, you can go ahead and add it, blend it out, and tap with the little woolly. Now that was very easy and very quick. Now I'm ready to continue on loading up my paint roller and continuing on in another three foot by three foot area. Rolling back and forth again, making sure that just my base coat co is covered, not worrying too much about what my end result looks like until after I've covered my base coat. Okay, now I'm going to fine tune it again. If you'll notice one thing that I happen to like about this look is that you get what's called color movement. That's when the colors make large spans on the wall. You see like this? See how the light color kind of weaves in and out? That's a fantastic look in a room. Again, finishing up my edging as I'm going on. It just doesn't get any easier than this. Wow, that was so easy. I hope that you enjoy doing your faux finish with the two color roller as much as I did. And I know that you'll get professional looking results just like I did.